Hey everyone, a couple new cars this week. First up, pretty much the latest Mustang you can get, 2022. This is the S50, S550 platform. Uh, recently the S650 debuted, which looks a little Camaro-ish, but that's neither here nor there. So this is sealed resin by GT Spirit. The Mach 1 is pretty much the highest performance Mustang you can get. I mean, there's the GT50, but um, this kind of is a stopgap measure of the GT350 and the GT350R. It kind of has some of the GT350 handling components. So you could actually get this in a stick as opposed to the GT500. This does have, I think, the, you know, the track handling package. You can tell by the wheels, which are very good. You could also get this in gray. But the red's kind of a little more interesting contrast-wise. You do have some some open mesh in the grill, in the lower grill. That's closed mesh there, but I don't know. I don't know about the real car. So this is basically a slightly higher performing GT uh, Performance Package 2 car. So about 480 horsepower, 5 liter Coyote V8. Pretty happy with this overall. I do like to have all the Mustangs represented. Uh, this is currently on sale at uh, Diecast Wholesale Models, where I got it. Uh, it's on sale for $79. Uh, retails like $129, $139, so at that price I'm not mad at it. I am a little mad that Diecast Wholesale no longer honors the 10% off coupon for closeout items, which this was. Oh well. So, car number 367 out of $999. Again, pretty neat piece. No one else is making this Mach 1, so here it is from GT Spirit. Packaging, nothing to write home about. Your typical black GT Spirit box with a little bit of preview of what you're getting. Next up, more sealed resin. I, I just seems to be what I've been buying because that's what they've been making. This was a bit of a hole in my collection. I like to have the Civic Type R's. This is the EK9 generation, the 6th generation Civic. Uh, this is a JDM car. You can tell, right-hand drive. Um, we didn't get this in the States. We obviously got, you know, this buy-style hatchback, but we did not get the Type R. So again, sealed resin by Auto this time. Uh, this would have had a, uh, I think it's the B16, uh, dual overhead cam, four-cylinder. It's got VTEC, yo. Something about 180-ish horsepower. Type R's often have the nice red seats. Championship white is the color that is to me the signature color to have any Honda or Acura Type R vehicle in. You do have, looks like no open mesh at all. Sad. You used to expect that in an auto, but not so much anymore. Underneath, look at that high production number, 3000. Typically when they re-release a car in a different color that was popular, that sold out after a thousand, they'll do a two or three thousand model run. So that's a hint that this was popular before. Retail 129-ish. I think I got this landed for 90 to 100 dollars, so I'm not too mad at it at that price. Packaging, the most boring package in the world, a completely innocuous white box. Typical auto. So, big news, Saturday will be the first episode of the Diecast Doctor. I think my first patient is going to be a Tesla Model X I'm fixing for a friend, so please tune in for that. That'll start out by um, kind of an addition on this channel every Saturday, and eventually I'll spin it off into its full own channel. So that's it for this week. Everyone please like and subscribe. Have a good one.